everybody, and welcome to episode 97 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. Really? I just loaded in. What are you detecting, Shirley? Is that a snake? I see. That's that's how we're starting this episode. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. What an unusual beginning. But it's going to be an infested clear day, just like the prior. This is our final day before the Horde night, where we can spend time farming ammo. And believe you me, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, I was... Oh, right. I was working on the new dart trap setup. But I needed concrete. I remember ending the previous episode a bit confused. I didn't realize the time at all. But if we have concrete up here, we do. Good. Take some of that. And do a handful of minor repairs down here. Since the store, our wonderful little marketeer, Jet, doesn't open until 6, we have a little bit of time. So we might as well fill it with something. Something that gives us good XP. Like this. I had a few commenters mention how... How the ridiculous size of my base has been complementary to my currently very high level, and yeah, I agree. I overdo it. And believe me, moving forward with the rest of the 7 days series that we might end up doing, it's going to be similar. Even in the Power World series, eventually, there's going to be a very, very large base. At least one of the three that can be set up. I'd finish up all these repairs, and then set up the dart traps. I'm also going to need more steel doors. The question is, did I leave those at the normal base, or did I bring them here? Is that another snake? I I think I heard the hissing. What? Why? Where? You know what? I don't I don't care. It's just a snake. I've clearly got bigger things to think about. Let's see. Steel door, no, door, no, and no. I see. The doors must be back here. There it is. A damn snake. <laughs> It's way too late in the game to be throwing those things at me. I almost feel like, as long as I have food and water, I could just out-regen whatever amount of health that thing could take away. I'm too tanky, Jimmy. I have an absolute boatload of random crap in my inventory. Time to sort that out, since it is almost time for the store to open. Oh wait, I was supposed to drop a lot of this off inside the horde base. I guess I'll do that. It's good to have the resources nearby. In case I need to repair, and I don't want to run all the way back to my base. Things could get a little finicky if I have to do that on a horde night. Let's see. That's probably all I needed to drop off. Yeah, that should be fine. Now we clear our inventory and get ready for a infested clearing spree. Hooray for Trader Joel's. Wait, oh, I finally have an entire stack of old gash. Awesome. Hmm, I also have testosterone in here. You know what? I'll just read these books. Put more things in here. More sellables. Hmm. Wait, no. Mega Crush? That goes in here. In preparation of the Horde Knight. Because it is coming. And it's going to be terrible. These concrete blocks away. Take the normal blocks. Wherever they are. There are none. What? What did I do with my normal blocks? Oh well. I guess I can just craft more. But a hundred should do. Alright, time to go get us some quests. Hash out as much ammo as possible. I have dastardly plans for the blaze of glory. And a lot of it involves this perk, the penetrator. I'm going to be using that to shoot through multiple zombies. Ooh. If you could not, I'd appreciate it. Um, it looks as though she did summon a horde. I'll let them, oh, except for this guy. I'm gonna get a quest and just let them coalesce at this door. Seems like the best plan. Let's see. Any new stock? In terms of books, nothing worth reading. Resources. Take the gas cans. Yeah, the good stuff. And the rest can just be ignored. Now an important piece, the weapons. Buying shotgun ammo for certain. Grenades, yes. And as far as weapons go, she has nothing else worth mentioning. Alright, that's enough of that. Now we get quests. Buy and go grocery. Not even going to ask if we've done this one before, because I can almost guarantee we have. Oh, howdy lads. <laughs> what the? That was interesting. This guy was like rubbing up on me, but he wouldn't attack. Just pushing me around. Hey, how did you get in there? Who do you think you are? Why didn't my turret clear you out? You still got ammo? Yeah, you're fine. You've only gone through 50 of your 450 bullets. Well, I guess I left my door open. How oh, very like me. Speaking of which, Sheila, how's your inventory? Should I clear that out too? If you could just stop moving. I stand very still. She stops moving. Okay, you're good. Now let's go quest. Buy and go grocery. Oddly enough, I I really shouldn't even say this. I'm probably wrong, but I don't think we've actually done this POI. Ooh, mailboxes. I actually got a book that I haven't read. Now that is unusual. Oh, see, we haven't done this one. It's next to the Zoe Salon, but wait, have we? 
No, I think we spent a random night where we raided this, but it wasn't an actual quest. So we have done it. Ooh, bad doggy, go away. Hmm, I gotta start thinking about what drinks or food might actually be worth mentioning. Also, ATM, you gotta go. And go it did. Not oh, just a casual 1,000 some odd dukes. Nothing too amazing. Suppose we'll get these scrap polymer- Is that a chicken? Chicken. Chicken, you're supposed to run from me. I kind of want to just leave it alone. Because <laughs> it's- <laughs> It's- Nah, I won't. A good chicken is a dead chicken. Now let's get this quest going. Of course, starting through the front door. Never take the path that they want you to. Which is clearly up there. Not my style. I'm a front door salesman. And all I'm really selling is death. Anybody care to buy some? It's on sale. Oh, that's where the mess is. Honestly, not too bad. Thought that there would be more, but there was only, what, six, seven? Something like that. Which, hey, works for me. Just means more loot. The sooner they die, the sooner I can get the goods. Interesting how they put the infested cache right through the front door. Then again, it was locked, and they clearly didn't want you to just punch through, but hey, I'm me. It's what I do. It's practically my specialty. Speaking of punching through, again, lock picks inside of a chest. I don't understand. What is the thought process behind that? <laughs> Goofy. Uh, I guess I can sell the SWAT helmet. It's not really a needed thing, but I will. Now let's see what else is in store here. Oh. Um, didn't mean to interrupt you guys. Let me just go ahead and crouch and just, uh, yup. Blows that right there. Nah, I guess that's not my style, is it? Could set up a, well, I, you know, I just shot right next to his head. <laughs> he still doesn't care. But I could set up traps here, but mm, let's be honest. I have plenty of ammo. I don't have to worry about that. Wow. There were more than I expected, that's for certain. Also this white, <laughs> he face tanked like two power attacks to the face. Well, I guess that's why it's called face tanking. But damn, that is some next level durability. Is this a button? No? Hmm, interesting. You'd think that this would be interactable, open the gates. But no, of course not. What else do we have here? Are we done? Oh, I see a sleeper. Mm. Well, let's help him rest by putting him to sleep forever. I was expecting more of a fight, but well, let's go ahead and drop this leather. We don't really need it. What else? Animal fat? I needed the meat. Honestly, I should just stop. Oh, what does this do? Probably unlocks the door I just punched down for no reason. I would open this door. Neat. Suppose we'll go up here. I bet this is where the fun is. It was indeed where the fun was. But there wasn't too much fun. I thought that there would be more. That I'd have a little fun with it. Wait, why is there a torch on this? You know what, I'm not gonna ask. I thought there would have been more business going on in there. But it seems not. Whipped out my axe, thought I'd have some fun with it. Go melee only. But this POI was weirdly weak. Ooh, the mailman came through and delivered a bunch of books. What a kind fellow. Well, we have our surplus of ammo. Drop this off and see how many more infested clears we can do before the sun goes down. I have plans involving extensive verticality for the blaze of glory. Where I'm going to be building a base that goes very high. Probably higher than that bell tower. I'm not sure yet. I have to count the blocks. I believe, if we look at it here, this impact bracing mod plus my parkour gives me the ability to take about 23 blocks of fall damage. It might be more, might be less. I'll have to test it. Hmm. Sticks of dynamite? Wait, now let's do a bunch of block damage. Nah, I'm good. All good. First things first, I gotta sell you some crap. Here, take that. Constant inventory problems. At least when you're questing this quickly, it's pretty constant. Here. No, this isn't the shotgun that you just gave me. I always keep my gifts. Now let's go ahead and get another quest. Carl's Cars. Carl's Cars. Why does this one sound so familiar? I don't understand. Yeah, well, I'll just stick with my usual uh, method and not think about it too hard. Oh, oops, that's a horn button. I, just, I kind of forgot that that was 
on the vehicles. It's kind of a novelty. I'm not sure what purpose it really serves. This is quite an extensive amount of extra ammo. An entire chest of 762 and working on another one. Not bad at all. Plus the rest of the resources, I practically have an unlimited supply of mechanical parts. Considering we don't need them for that much. And I dropped off half of them at the other base. Let's see. Ford Bites, I'm also going to move these over to the Horde Knight chest. Because eventually, that's what they're going to be used for. Because of their damage mitigation. It also means we can make more room for med kits. Like that. I'm gonna have to start scrapping some of the first aid bandages at some point here. Close this door. Since there's twice the amount of health on that, because there's a door and a hatch, I hope that means they'll go to the back where the turret is. Because the robotic turret, well, <laughs> I guess they are going out back. But the robotic turret doesn't function when I'm not near the base, so the front door isn't actually secured. I only have one side and the back secured. But they're the ones that populate the most. So that's where the firepower goes. Hmm. Nice batch of vehicles around this POI. I'm glad that we're finally at the point where we can take apart vehicles without running out of stamina instantly. That was unpleasant, to say the least. Especially ones like this where they have more health. It was getting to a point where I would have to do a couple power attacks and then just stare at the ground while my character regenerates stamina. Not exactly the height of entertainment. Now then. Let's see what Carl's Cars is about. Wait, I see vehicles inside. I should get those before... My have up something. Uh. Okay, I wasn't expecting all that. I tend to forget that the POIs repopulate, even if you don't accept quests. Goofy. Well, let's get these two vehicles before we start the quest. That way they'll restock, if you will. A rather immersion-breaking mechanic, but I don't mind. Because efficiency. Hold on a second. Is this cloth? It sure is. I guess I'll get this before I restart it too. <laughs> these curtains are highly valuable. Surprised they haven't gotten attacked by anything else. Really, it's weird. Very weird. I am so glad that they removed broken glass from most of the world objects. So if I accidentally hit these windows, I don't get broken glass like I used to. It was very annoying. All right. Whoa, car spawned right on top of me. But all right, let's go ahead and see. What does POI do be? Oh, wow, there are a lot of vehicles. It's gonna be an engine heaven. Ooh, what? Is it a little wandering horde? Is that what that is? Adorable. Look at these. Silly, silly little geese. Oh, there's a couple more in the distance too, but I'm doing a quest. They have to come to me. I can't go too far from the POI after all. Otherwise, I'll be abandoning the quest. And nobody wants that, at least as far as I know. There is another vehicle back around the side. Oh, uh, what's that? A radiator. I don't care about it. However, I can scrap these low-tier car batteries. Screw it, just start scrapping a bunch of things. Things that used to be valuable are now, well, pointless to keep around. Like low-tier car batteries. Their only real purpose is crafting other or new vehicles that you don't have. And I'm all good with that. Wait, did you? You guys wandered into the store to, to come to this door instead of to the front? Why? So don't hit that cloth that's mine. How dare you? Who do you think you are? You know, it's really the simple things in life. Like watching zombies fall into holes. Suppose we can get this cloth again. It was almost an entire stack previously. So, why not get another one? POIs like this are some of the best ways to get this cloth, at least as far as I can tell. The next best thing, of course, being clothing stores, because you can scrap each piece of clothing. Even tiny little shoes. <laughs> Even something as low material as a tank top can be scrapped down for 30 some odd cloth which is pretty good huh. interesting how they leave this glass here you can see the zombies just hanging out suppose we'll greet them and greet them we did what am I dropping? Leather? I don't care, but damn. <laughs> it takes such a long time to scrap these radiators. Another one of the many, many reasons why Darkness Falls is superior. Because, well, not just Darkness Falls, but many of the other overhaul mods. They are superior because you have, I think, 10 crafting slots? Or scrapping, or whatever. Which, honestly, that's how it should be. Now, surely, I need you to start holding all these engines. Screw it, take the lead batteries too. That should be, yes, that's most of them. Infested cache, yet another surplus. I've decided in the 
least dire of moments, I'll be using the axe again. Why? Well, for my personal entertainment, I suppose. There's just something very satisfying about hitting zombies with the big ol'. Hmm, the whoosh of the axe as it flies through the air to illuminate my assailants. Wonderful. Again, six lockpicks inside of a chest. Why? Should I just start amassing these? Hmm, it's a whole inventory slot. I don't have the perk either, so it would just take longer than the auger. I'll pass. Oh, tier six booties, but those are worth quite a bit. However, my crafting queue is completely filled. Here, we'll get rid of this book, I suppose, and repair the booties for maximum money. I suppose we'll take about the cars while we're here. Also, I didn't get all of this loot. God, I'm too easy to be distracted. Far too easy. Ooh, more wheels. Those are far and few between now. I say as I get a second one. Screw it, just ignore everything I ever say. <laughs> because the game will prove me wrong every time I say it. There we go. There's no vehicles down here, but I bet, yeah, it looks a little suspicious. Because there's that nice little cave over here, with clearly sleeping zombies. Let's see how much damage we can do with the axe. The answer is all the damage. We can do all the damage with the axe. What is this? Interesting. I've never seen this as an actual lootable object. Mm, I don't need the pistol. I suppose I'll take these bones, though. Nitrate powder, nitrate powder, I don't care about that. I can mine that. Oh, that looks like the last portion of the POI. I can even see... Oh, that's a spider, but he's in sitting position. Uncomfortable. I'll go around and greet them, face to face, like a man. Also, this is probably gonna hurt, but I don't feel like doing any puzzles. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Yep, that was only like a hundred damage. Look, fun pimps. Please, fix the way fire works. It would be greatly appreciated. Now we come around here. Ah... Greeted by a nice little entourage. God, <laughs> spiders are so loud. Is there any special loot back here with these dorks or no? Nah? And the answer is nah. Just a bunch of nothing. Great. Does this mean I have to go through the fire again? <laughs> oh. You know... <laughs> I guess I didn't have to in the first place. Oh, very like me. This was fun. We'll take a peek around for any more vehicles, and if there aren't any, well, time to go for another infested clear. Since we can only do those in the day, and in the night time, oh, I should probably take these apart, but in the night time, we can go around and get cars if we need them. Which, really? Do we? Uh, more batteries and radiators? I don't care about those two objects. No more engines? That's fine, then. All right, oil, oil, debit. My inventory is very full. Sherry, Sher Shirley. <laughs> I'll cement one of those names at some point, perhaps. Oil is valuable enough, the rest is garbage. Back to Jed. Wait a moment. Okay, just making sure the quest was actually done. I tend to be presumptuous with these kind of things. As we've seen prior in the series, I will sometimes just walk away from a POI, assuming I've completed the quest for no reason. Luckily, this one was rather close to the base, so it won't take too long to get back to our wonderful marketeer. Oh, God. Who? Why? Where? Here, Screamer, Screamer, Screamer. I heard you. I know you're out there. I will find you. Probably. Where? What? Okay, I hear her. Wait, how are you inside my base? How dare you? How dare? Wait, she got in, but it wasn't through the front or the back door. What? Hold on. No. Let me check these. Okay, it's just the, the standard amount. Over here, nothing here. Where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from, God my Joe? What? Oh, well, I'm out here getting paranoid, but apparently there's no reason to. Let's just do this. We'll set up bars this time. Just double up on them so they'll be slightly less incentivized to come here. I don't have any cobblestone. Around to the other side. There we go. Now let's turn this quest into Jed. Screamers have a knack for wasting my time. Again, how is that door damaged? I'll never understand. Oh shit's drops. Take some of these. Hmm. Anything else here I need? No, that'll be fine. Wait, my inventory is very full. So, sure, surely, stop moving. If I stop moving, she stops moving. There we go. Oh, put in the oil. Honestly, scrap the first aid bandage. I guess we didn't need to interact with her. Crafting bundle. Suppose I'll sell the sledgehammer back to her. You have to be attentive when taking the rewards from her, because sometimes she'll sell you a tier 6 item, and then 70 ammo of something like the magnum like she just had. But you would get more magnum ammo if you sold the tier 6 sledgehammer to her, and then just bought ammo. More often than not, that's how it works. It would be nice if doing quests for them just gave them a new inventory every time. Would. 
be nice. Anyway, new quest. Let's see. The Berg Kinnear. I think we saw that earlier today. No promises. Let's clear our inventory very quickly and then go on to the Berg Kinnear. Weird name. Not sure what to think about it. Must have more ammo. I'm sure we can all agree there's generally no such thing as too much ammo if you had infinite well you're winning let's put the murky water in there we don't need it also really the brass is full again interesting i guess we'll start burning it i mean cooking it i mean whatever yeah that seems fine all right questing time we do this very quickly don't forget to close the door gotta keep chevy alive but if we do this very very quickly then we might actually be able to slip in another quest while it's nighttime. The interim between this episode and the next episode. But we'll see. The Berg Kinnear. Here we are. See one vehicle tear it apart real quick. Like so. Start the quest. Hello. I would like an extra large double cheese soda. Hey, just how big is this POI? I mean, it's, it's not really that big, but there's, I don't know, something missing. By something missing, I mean something that I missed. I'm not generally too attentive. Hmm, I hear zombies grumbling and bumbling. Maybe they're through here. Indeed, how much more could there possibly be? Hopefully not too much. Hey, buddy. Late to the party? All your friends already showed up. Hmm, this POI is full of locked doors, and I don't know how to feel about it. Well, the man and a lady in the bathroom, and a hazmat man. Were you selling drugs to these two? Are we really not done yet? Well, wow. this is only like a tier four. I already cleared the top of this. So what could possibly be left? What's through here? Only one way to find out. I just, I don't know what I'm missing. However, I do see a camera over there. Who do you think you are? What's up here? Anything? No? Hmm, this BOI is very confusing. Very. What about this? Already got it? Okay. What about through here? Sure is a door. <laughs> what? What could possibly be left? I think I should probably forfeit the idea of finishing it before nighttime. Very confusing. I definitely came through here. It was neat. Came in, made a bunch of noise, set off all the zombies, killed them all. At least I assume. And that should have more or less been everything in this area. I also cleared the roof, unless there was more up here that I don't know about. I guess we'll see. Around here, up this way, no, down over here, a lot of nothing interesting. Wait, that's not it? Mm. Weird that she didn't get set off by the other one. Oh, okay, so, <laughs> so because the AI of that one zombie messed up. Wait, where is this pointing? But because the AI of that one zombie messed up, they didn't point me where it needed to. Where? Wait, what? There's a dot there, and a door. That's unlocked. Close open. How do I activate this? What the hell? Oh, button. Wait, I hit the button. <laughs> Hold on, I hit the button and it activated the, or it finished the quest for me. But it wasn't because a zombie appeared. This is so very confusing. I'm beyond lost. Oh well, I guess I'll just take my time getting the loot. Some days are just confusing like this, I suppose. Did I already get the infested cache based on my ammo? I'm going to say yes. Very confusing. Well, I believe this chest should be the last of the loot. And poor loot it is. A little bit of ammo, but nothing amazing. Apparently I need a drink. You know what, there's only one locked door left. Let's take care of that. Easy peasy. What a very unusual POI. At least we finished it. So you see that deer? Deer in a headlight? <laughs> deer. Oh no no no, you're not running from me. I don't think so, bucko. I don't need any of that loot from you. Like, actually, you know, the bones could be nice. Don't hit the... Yeah, okay. We'll never get used to the four turning radius on these vehicles. Master, we are not alone. What in the world? First off, what I just did there was very evil Knievel, but I just watched those zombies spawn in. It was kind of cool, actually. Combining the two events. All right. Suppose we'll take the rest of the night to set up that dart trap area. Park ourselves right here. Leave that lamp just lighting up my lawn. And that should do for now. Now I think once this night is over, I'm going to have to start prioritizing for the remainder of the next week, assuming we survive this horde night. I think I'm going to have to reserve it to collecting stone almost exclusively. I want cement, lots of it, because it's the second healthiest block in the game, and it's very, very cheap to make. And I have 
A plan for the Blaze of Glory that involves making multiple pseudo horde bases. All of them are going to go vertically. Let's open up this dart trap bundle. And we have what, three here? Hmm. Let's see if we have any more dart trap bundle. We do. Go us. The only other thing to do is to grab, well, darts. Let's go ahead and set these up for a little bit. Take that brass out, it doesn't actually matter. Let's go ahead and set these to cook iron for a little bit so that I can get them making darts. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? The screamer got one little burg out before she got absolutely murked by my robotic turret. That was beautiful, truly. It was beautiful, Jimmy. Uh, things are happening. Oh, <laughs> I was looking around like, where's the zombies? Where's the zombies? I guess they were just at the front, getting murked. By everyone but me. I was busy, you know, doing important things. Speaking of important things, let's go ahead and collect from the dew collectors. Collect the dew we did. We were getting quite the amount of water in here. Speaking of which, I should drink some, apparently. I have an extra stack of iron on me. Why? Oh, I see. I misplaced some. Anyways, those are all being taken care of. What else am I gonna need? Nothing, most likely. I could bring an extra generator. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. How about a lead battery one? Battery bank over here. We don't need anything crazy, so we'll use the low tier batteries. Yeah, yeah. Seems like an okay idea and could at least make use of them, so let's do that. If I remember correctly, the back end of this, the original dart trap, should have, or dart trap pit, room, whatever you want to call it, there should be a chest back here. I mean, a very unusual spot for it. Is this off? Yes, good. Yes, here we go. So we're going to have four of them. They each take three darts apiece. Total of 12 stacks. <laughs> you know, those turrets at my base have been going to town since I installed them. Truly, they never take days off. Okay, step one. Actually, no, I need to go back to the base and get my steel doors. I want to have an entry point. Wait, but my entry point can't actually be at the front because then it'll block one of the dart trap areas. I'd have to punch this out. Ah, crap. I'll be right back. <laughs> And back I am. <laughs> I thought I could leave the middle, save myself some time, and just build around those few blocks of steel there, but I guess not. They were in the way. Now, another deer, really. Interesting. I'm not even gonna loot it. I just want it dead. They're in cahoots with the zombies, as far as I'm concerned. They're like scouts. Now, where are my steel doors? Most likely in here. Door. Here we are. Steel doors. Take two of them. Yeah. Two should be fine. What else do we need? Concrete cubes and some steel. Take those and a stack of steel. That should be fine. Now, right on back to the project. Is it just me or has the night gotten darker and spookier? <laughs> Maybe it's just because I've been taking my time playing Pal World, but the game just seems so much more ominous at nighttime than that game. Oh, we'll do one and two. Two doors, right? Yeah? Well, wait, hold on. Can I? No, you can't pick these up, and I already placed it, and I don't want to tear it down, so... Yeah, I guess we're putting two doors here. I didn't even think about it before putting it down. Yeesh. That will very like me. Wait, no, don't... <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It's supposed to be a ladder or bars. Bars. Definitely needs to be bars, not a solid block. Like so. One more set. Guess I should reinforce them actually. Bars are fine. They can be seen through by motion sensors. The darts can shoot through them, so it should function properly. Let's see. Let's start with the generator. The stone is just in the way. Generator in the back, but in the back right, I suppose. Interesting. <laughs> a tier one lead car battery gives 29 watts. Why an uneven number? What about tier two? 33. And the durability doesn't affect it. Very unusual. I mean, that's not bad. That's 200 watts for what is an item that would typically just get thrown out. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay. Let's go ahead and <laughs> I can hear my turrets going to town again. We'll go ahead and set these back. What are we thinking? One, two, three. We'll do seven blocks right here. This seems fair. Anything to keep them from potentially getting hit by demolishers. Yeah, that should do. Now we just, actually hold on. I need two motion sensors. See if they're at this base or the other base. I doubt I have any over here, but 
Doesn't hurt to check. It's on the way, after all. I do. Exactly two. Bars. Which means I should be able to finish this up nice and quick. Right through here, and now we need a motion sensor on the front of both of these. Like this and this. There. Mm, if there's only a way to buffer explosion resistance with blocks, that would be nice. But I don't think there's any block that can be shot through and also take the brunt of explosive damage. So we're stuck with what we have. All right, that's all set up. We go from the generator to the motion sensors. Then the motion sensors to the traps. I don't think I needed two motion sensors, but whatever. Now to test, we simply walk in front. There we go. They're working just fine. Yes. Good. I think I should be fine for the Horde Knight in terms of this business. This one was weirdly simpler to set up than the other one over here. I overcomplicated. I do that a lot. Let's see. What else do we have to do in preparation for the Horde Knight? Not sure. Is everything over here repaired? Mm, seemingly, more or less. Nothing's really damaged. Got our blade trap set up. Everything is powered. Hmm. We're doing pretty well. Wait, something is damaged. Oh, the ladder. Interesting. Ah, and that was the morning ring-a-ding dog. And with it, the end of episode 97. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.